New York City, 1922. Two Columbia University sociologists, William Ogburn and Dorothy Thomas, publish a paper in the Academy of Political Science Journal entitled, Are Inventions Inevitable? In it, they cite 148 instances of simultaneous inventions where two or more individuals, each operating without knowledge of the other's work, came up with the same groundbreaking innovation or theory at the same time. How is it that people in different continents, different cultures, can come up with the same idea at almost exactly the same time? And it's seen throughout history. Albert Einstein says that he came up with the idea for relativity in a few moments. It suddenly came into his mind. Einstein's discovery of relativity was preceded almost simultaneously by a theoretical physicist, a Frenchman named Poincaré. You have the radio being developed by both Nikola Tesla and Guglielmo Marconi at the same time. You have the telephone also being developed at the same time. There's many incidences in history like this. During World War II, British engineer Sir Frank Whittle and a German physicist, Hans von Ohain, both invented the first jet engine. The designs were strikingly similar, and because they were serving on different sides of the war, neither had any knowledge of the other's work. There have been discoveries that have shown up around the planet at the exact same time. People that aren't connected, people that have no influence upon each other, and those are the things that start to emerge simultaneously around the planet. Here's the interesting thing. This goes back to the idea that we find information in the substrate of the physical world. It may just be that every single discovery that we ever wanted to discover is already in the room right now. It isn't that the information is not there. It's that our brains are not evolved yet to see the information. Now, not everybody is on the same wavelength. Not everybody's evolved at the same rate. That's also true. So there are people throughout history that could access that information. This effect has been documented all the way back to the time of the Renaissance and the Reformation. Things like the discovery of the telescope, the identification of the colors in the rainbow, the identification of basic chemistry, the theory of evolution. Scientists try to explain it, and they think people have a certain level of technology at a certain time, and they have the tools in front of them to be able to make breakthroughs. That doesn't explain why it happens so precisely that in many cases it is literally simultaneous. We have to look at the possibility that extraterrestrials could be introducing ideas into this information field. Sort of as if something has been uploaded into the cloud 